What's going on seller trade craft family? I wanted to put together a quick, quick video to cover um, just a search term report analysis. Now I know that um, I do use tools. I know there's a lot of tools out there, but I like to use um, analyses in a pivot table and in Excel for like ad hoc analysis. So like, for example, if I want to troubleshoot a problem that, you know, is a little like need some custom, you know, analysis, then I'll go on ahead and do this. So let's go on ahead and jump in. So, uh, here's kind of how I like to do it is, for example, let's say I want to find out some trend data. What you can do is you can go into your, um, here we have our, under our advertising reports, you know, search term report, you know, do the report period. And then I use daily units, which is really, really cool because it allows us to look at everything that happens on a daily basis. So let's go through how I use the search term report to do this um, in an Excel file. So just go here. We have a search term report. This has real data, like the numbers are real, but I did change like the um, campaign names just because it's like, you know, client data. So open it up in a search term report. I do insert pivot table hop in and then um, for example what I like to do is with my naming structure the way that I name things I put the SKU in the campaign name and ad group name and so like for example I can go here and then um, one thing you could do is go to date bring it over here and then we can see the dates here so on a daily basis I can look at you know, specific metrics I want to look at. So like I can look at, for example, like spend. So we can see spend, like how spend is trending. So this is, I think today, so it's 58 bucks. <laughs> um, but look at the day before and check out spend. Um, you can look at clicks. Um, a one that I really like to do is let me go through here. So let's do... seven day advertised SKU units. I like this metric because this is the metric that says um, the SKU that was advertised is the one that was bought. And so in terms of data attribution, it's more accurate. So we could look at like at the account level, we could go ahead and look at um, clicks, seven day advertised SKU units, and then um, go to like pivot table, analyze, calculate, we can do CVR. I do like looking at conversion rate a lot. And then we can go here, clicks, insert field, divided by seven day advertised SKU units. Oh, not sales. All right, let's try that, see what happens. Having some issues with this formula. I think that's the reason. What, what, hold on. Let's see if this works. Huh. Here, let me do something here. Equals. Usually this doesn't happen. Seven day advertised SKU units. There we go. And then what we can do is. Oh, actually, it's the opposite. My bad. Let me go back here. Calculated field. Let's select our field CVR. I did it the opposite. So let's try this. There we go. And then we can go over here and we can do percentage and then you would um, push it out two decimal points. It's kind of like the business rule. And then you can look at how your conversion rates trending over time, which is really, really cool data to know, especially for like seasonality purposes. Um, another quick analysis that I like to do is since this is the search term report, for example, what you can do is go over here to customer search term and then, um, hold on, my face is blocking. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go here bring this to filters and what you can do is you can filter by search term and um, you know look at you know filter by search terms since they're all the same but you have a list of your search terms and you can select the search terms and analyze their daily behavior and see how they're doing on a daily basis this is really really powerful because if you have like your high volume um, search terms you can see how they behave your behave over time based on changes and things like that I like to use this for troubleshooting so like let's say 
we're having some issues for a SKU where like, you know, um, we're not getting as many sales, then what I can do is I can drill down and figure out if our spend went down. And then if our spend went down, I can figure out, hey, why did our spend go down? You know, it could have because we decreased bid management. This is really cool for like using um, ad hoc analyses. So troubleshooting problems. I mean, once you get kind of really good with the pivot tables and understanding um, the reporting, it allows you to kind of like do custom analysis that you might not be able to do, you know, with other things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it makes you more powerful Amazon sellers and um, I hope it gave you value. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you need anything from me, let me know.